This lithograph by Honoré Daumier is entitled Rue Transnonain, April 15, 1834. Daumier's method of depicting this horrific scene cultivates a moral gaze. This image establishes a relationship between the subject and the viewer, which is designed to ignite the viewer's sense of moral justice. Daumier visualizes a universal indignation through an image of a particular event. Working in 19th century France, Daumier was a prolific creator of political lithographs, which were then reproduced and more widely disseminated in the press. Images such as Rue Transnonain protested the corruption of the regime of King Louis Philippe. On April 15, 1834, a National Guard soldier was allegedly shot at from one of the windows in apartment building number 12 on the street Rue Transnonain. Storming the building, the King's soldiers indiscriminately killed men, women, children, the young, and the elderly. In Daumier's depiction of this atrocity, these innocent people seem to have been pulled from their beds and summarily executed. However, what made Daumier's image so impactful then and still relevant today was his ability to endow the specific event with universal significance. This lithograph unflinchingly depicts the brutal aftermath of the massacre of innocent men women, and children. Daumier's title, which is just the street address and the date, implies a method of factual documentation. The suggestion of objectivity disguises the fact that the artist had not actually witnessed the crime scene. Daumier had carefully constructed an image of this scene to visualize the single contemporary event as a visual manifesto against universal injustice. Daumier's method of depicting these particular victims makes his image a visualization of an inhumanity that might take place anywhere at any time. While the shock of this image is immediate, the impact of Daumier's lithograph visually unfolds over time. At first, we only perceive the scene in glimpses. There is an impression of light coming in through an unseen window at the right. As we look more carefully at the image, certain details gradually emerge. For example, the man's face is depicted with a higher degree of detail. This focuses our attention on him as a particular person. It is only after studying this scene more attentively that we might see the face-down dead baby. Bleeding from the head, the infant is crushed under the body of the man, who is presumably attempting to shield the child. As these details emerge, the events that created them unfold in the viewer's imagination. Therefore, the process of looking carefully at this image precipitates a reenactment of the crime in the viewer's mind. This quiet aftermath is in a way even more horrific and memorable than a scene of dramatic action. The stillness of this image is a sort of visual silence. The disorder of the room requires the viewer to imagine the violence that created it. How were these people pulled from their beds and murdered? How did the chair get overturned? How did the body of the child end up under the body of the man? And finally, the ultimate question, how could this terrible event even happen? These are questions that Daumier leaves unanswered. Visualizing silence is key to the work's enduring impact. The silence of death 
is visually reinforced by the stark black and white simplicity of Daumier's lithograph. He was able to employ the tonal range of his lithographic medium to maximum effect. Honoré Daumier's Rue Transnonaire, April 15, 1834 belongs in the company of Francisco Goya's 3rd of May, 1808, and Pablo Picasso's Guernica. These works of art are more than depictions of particular atrocities. They are visualizations of the vulnerability and the brutality that characterize the human condition. 